stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you guys for joining me once more for some mortal glory. I'm a little extra slimy and whimy. Whimy? That's, is that a word? I don't know. I'm a little extra slimy today. I'm still, I'm, I'm quite sick, guys and gals. I do apologize. Not looking for sympathy. I am taking care of myself, so do not worry, folks. Just letting you know why I might be extra. <laughs> And so on and so forth. Also, I sound a little bit worse for the wear. <laughs> Can almost breathe through my nose. I know. It's great. It is a miraculous miracle of miracleitudes. Anyway, we are continuing with our adventure in mortal, mortal glory. We have Grashi, the Minotaur. We have Mimosa, the Dryad. And we have Nicolas, the Vizard. Anyhow, we have a little bit of money to spend, so we can do that. We currently have a versatile shark, which I believe I was going to throw up onto good old St. Nick, but I might, I might throw it up on a mimosa. I'm not entirely certain. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna learn it on a mimosa. And Nicholas can just kind of hang out and do whatever it is that Nicholas do. I think that's fair. Alright, so we have no weaponry on anyone here. We have a fair few skills that we can still learn. What does Invigorating Blow do? Strike an enemy and restore 20 of my MP. That's not awful. Magic Lightning? Oh. Okay. Yeah, nope. Nope. We're, we're getting this. Yep. Yep. That is a sale worth getting. We're going to put that one up on a Nicolas. And that's it. We we got no money for anything but like this, which I don't I don't think we want. All right, to the fight lobby. And it is here. We shall do battle. We have initiative. Nice. All right, so our boy still only has 1 AP. We're going to have to do something about that. That's that's rough. That is rough times. All right. So that's two out. And that's there. I should be able to move here and hit him with this. Actually, nope. I'm just short. All right. Step to the side. And we only have one AP with you. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just wait there. Does the Emperor have any, uh... No, no demands or desires? Alright, cool. Magically shield your mind to increase magic defense. Uh, sure. I guess we could do that. That doesn't sound bad. Um, we'll step there and prepare for... Oh! Don't even know what he just did to me. Do not appreciate it, though. All right, gonna hit you with some uh, some knowledge here. Mm, let's slow everyone's AP down a little bit. We'll just chill here. The Shrek is is on his way. Um, I guess I'll stand there. My plan was originally to do something else entirely, but I mean, I guess I could do it this way. Um, should I attack Mippy again? I think I am. I think I'm going to attack Mippy again. One down. The lightning bolt will strike our boy. And it is time for us to do just a little bit of damage. Uh, smack him back. He's all on fire. He's throwing out a little bit of hatred on to everyone. And we're going to finish him off here. All right, all we got left is uh, Big Uggs coming down. So I suppose we can get a little bit closer and get some of that magic lightning up in the place to be. Let's go ahead and smack Zin Zin. We'll scooch up a little bit. And how far out? Uh, we'll keep the cold coming. All right, so just a quick, easy hit. Uh, can't hit him with lightning yet, but we can for now. 
and then this should be enough. And indeed it was. Wow, 53 magic damage. Talk about Nicholas pulling out some of the the OG moves there. That was, that was good stuff. All right, so we got Grashi with plus one to wisdom. Not really the greatest for him, but that's cool. Two armor for Mimosa. Nice. And Nicholas gained one agility. Oh. 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 All right, cool. So what do we have here? We have plus three vitality, physical. I know he's got, what does he got down here? Eight physical damage and eight critical chance. Eight physical damage and three vitality. Nine physical damage, 16 MP. And eight physical damage, one magic damage, four to HP. You know what? I'm going to go with the, the vitality. He's become the surgeon. And she's become a nefarious. An old friend of yours stops by and reveals to be one of your next opponents. You think you could persuade your friend to betray the opposing team and join yours? This is guaranteed to anger the opposing team. Okay. You manage to persuade your friend to your team. The opposing team is furious and manages to find a beast of a gladiator to replace your friend. They must have had help from outside. Uh, they recruited a beast, Sonia. Oh, no. No, it's a minotaur. No. Oh, no. I'm going to have to sideline you, buddy. I can't have two of you. That was against the, well, we'll say the rules. It was against uh, what people wanted, so can I? Oh, that's, that's awful. Um... That kind of hurts us a little bit. Uh, do we have room for anybody else? How, how much of a beast is so She's not really that. She's pretty strong, I'm not going to lie. That's actually somewhat terrifying. Um, yeah, we may die. Let's hope we don't, but we may die. Um, how much AP do you have? Four skills. Four AP. Oh, God. Four AP and three AP. Oh, we're going to get AP'd to death. Um, that's not terrible. You know what? I think I'm going to buy it. Yeah. I think that's fine. We're going to go to the place here, and we're going to put this up on you, I guess. Yeah, I'll put it up on you. Ah, uh, recruitment. We have a little bit that we could do here. A whisperer. We could have a Sonya of our own, a vampire. But we can't afford it. Darn it. Alright, now there's a training over here. We can... How does this work? The Surgeon, plus three agility, which gives us the perk of Brave. Where, 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 oh, is, are these our perks? Yeah. Five strength and plus one max AP. Nice. So now we have three MP with our boy here. Okay. Well, that's useful. He's got 80 health. Uh, okay. I think he's looking okay. He's looking okay at this point. What about Mimosa here? She got the nefarious trait. Plus three to agility, and it makes her elusive. It lowers her her magic. Eh. It gives her plus five to dodge chance. I, I guess that's okay. And you receives an extra stat point after battle. Interesting. So she's at three. Her strength is super low. I suppose that's rightfully so. Okay, and then what about Nicholas here? What can we do to help Nicholas out? I think Nicholas we need some more stat points on. So, put him here. Train agility up to six. What does that do? He now has two movement points. If we train it up to nine. Oh, we can't. I say, can we, can we train it up to nine? No. We can train his vitality, though. Give him a little bit of extra HP there. Oh, boy. This is not going to go well. I mean, it might. It might go okay. All right. To the fight lobby. Um, delayed knockout. Knock out an enemy unit with a debuff. I don't think I can do that. 
The Freak Show versus the Decapitators of Onslaught. We have initiative. Alright, so she is kind of the primary person that we need to deal with. Um. Yeah, why not? Let's slow him down a little bit. Actually, let's let's back away. Put a mind shield up. Going chill. I think we're gonna step back. Step back, and we're gonna hit him with some. Oh, uh, you know what? That's that's okay. I'm gonna step back once more. That's cool. See, you know why that's cool? Because you just got yourself got. I hit you with some freezing winds, and then we're gonna electrify you. Ooh, okay, okay. It's not great. I slap you away a little bit. All right, we're gonna exchange some blood. Oh come on, you can't even hurt my boy here. All right, a little guttural cry there because my throat is feels like it's bleeding just about. Um, yeah, Sonia's down, and so is Big Stinky Ogre Boy. Now again, the Emperor is not super thrilled, but I don't really have an option to do the things that he wanted me to do. We got one agility, two wisdom, and one armor. 152 gold from that. Ooh. Physical, magic, and magic. Physical strength, HP, and dodge chance. What? And then armor, knockback chance, and dodge chance. Oh, they're all so good. I'm going to go with the spell sword. Hey, new tournament level reached. Excellent. I didn't expect you to make it even this far, to be honest. Still a nice chin, buddy. Uh, welcome surprise. Keep it up. 200 gold received. Mimosa approaches you visibly fatigued. This is it. I can't do this anymore. I want to retire and spend the rest of my days in a secluded cot cottage next to a lake. Forbid it. Oh, no. Okay. You managed to convince her to stay on the team. We'll say that's a positive outcome. Seem seems like a positive outcome. Okay, so let's go to recruitment. Our roster is here. Can we just get rid of you? No. All right. Well, you're okay. All right. So we got some money to play around with here. You are a whisperer. You are a werewolf named Shelf, Chilt, Bertram. All right. By you. You're a vampire with drain life, is it? Life drain, sorry. Opposing strike. Neat. And then you're able to move real good. But you don't have a lot of physical damage. So that doesn't help. Like, if you were, like, an archer, maybe? <sighs> Alright. I guess we're going to go with the werewolf. Kind of have maybe two frontliners. It's going to be a bit before we can get you up to a frontline status. Head bash applies amnesia debuff. What does that do? Oh, it tells me down there. Unable to use your skills, so just a physical attack. All right. I mean, it's not great, but it's a start. Uh, let's see your shop. Soul purge. It was all effects from target. Eh, ooh. Basically allowing me to just do damage to somebody super buffed up. Decomposing touch, no thank you. Shelf can have the, the great axe. 
Um, ooh, versatile jab. You hit an enemy, applies fleeting wisdom buff to you. Huh. Maybe I get that. That doesn't sound terrible. It's nine agility though, but that's gonna give me a lot of movement. Maybe we apply. All right, how about we switch the girdle to you? We snag up this. Gives him five movement. He's gonna be flying all over the map, which is nice. Um, what is this? Physical damage, four strength. Magically distract an enemy to lock their skills. Applies amnesia debuff. Does not consume a turn. That seems really good for a ring, honestly. Um, the only way I can get that is if I get something that gives me some extra HP. Hmm. I don't have enough for that. Sorry, guys. And guys. It sure seems real, like real easy, simple stuff to figure out here, but there's there's a bit more behind the scenes than you might expect. All right, I guess that's fine for now. Kind of want that ring. We'll move the girdle over to him, and then take the ring for ourselves. Six armors pretty low for this stage of the game but you know we're just gonna roll out with what we have all right to the fight lobby oh boy there's some extra stuff why do you why are you fancy oh because you are a purple dude well when in doubt uh precise knockout they drop an enemy to exactly zero hp i'll try it man the slaves of mortality Sweet, we have the initiative once again. Our big boy is able to move a lot nowadays. What's this? First tile jab? Alright. Alright, we're gonna scooch up here and curse splotchity. Do a little, a little rain dance here. Now it's, um able to do it but we're gonna be able to get you from here okay one down I think that's fine okay eight magic damage not too too bad put some a mental a blockation up on it and we're gonna charge this full actually we're gonna charge him from a little bit further back Because it increases the damage we do. Boom! Just obliterated the fool. Obliterated him. Oh, he got minus one HP. Come on, that was so close. That was so close. Alright. A little bit of lightning. Oh, that actually hurt a little bit too. I mean, he took some damage. It wasn't like a tremendous amount. I only got one AP left. It's not going to be enough. Let's uh, slap you. Alright, which does more? This does more, so... I mean, I think this is going to obliterate him either way, but... Maybe not. Oh, definitely obliterated him. Alright. She'll sure could die if I'm not cautious. Alright, moving up. I'm gonna hit you with this. And down you go. Alright, so we got one armor for Grashi, which is fine. Shelf got one uh, Vitality, another armor for Nicholas, and two strength for Mimosa. Not really the best there for us. Supersonic Swing. Icarus Shock and Brain Decay. Interesting. Um, obtuse reduces magic damage by 50. That's not bad. 
Okay, so basically it's to remove somebody from being able to melt your face. Cool. Icarus Shock. Range is only two. Swiftly shocking enemy damage is multiplied by the percent of HP missing from the attacker. Okay. That's really strong, actually. And supersonic swing. Strike at an enemy with unnatural speed. Applies burning debuff to yourself. So you, <laughs> you actually light yourself on fire. That's interesting. But it's really powerful. I think I have to go with the Icarus Shock. I think it has to be it. And he's somber. Plus three vitality on the perk of Z Zealous. Oh, boy. You stumble upon an old dungeon and find an ancient book magically bound to a pedestal detailing some sort of ritual on the wall. Written in blood, it reads, Heavy words lie hollow on unburdened hearts. Only blood begets power. Do I get to choose the unit that I lose? I'm gonna walk away. Like, if it was if it was just murdering off Shilf, maybe. Still don't want to do it, but maybe. Or if I got rid of the dude that's just chilling in here. Get rid of him? Yeah, you know, I, I, I can see that. Uh, I think it has to go to Mimosa, because she's able to move a bit further. Alright, um... We could have a big old stinky troll, but nah. Alright, time to shop. We got a sale on Life Drain. And what, what range? Two? Eh. Potion of Poison. Eh. Steel Skin. Ooh, magically reinforced your skin to increase... The armor applies steel skin and does not consume a turn. Yeah, they want to buy that one. Hammer throw. Nice enemy back one tile requires an unblocked horizontal or vertical path. Damage is increased by 10%. Huh. You know what? That also sounds really good. Okay, so. What do we need here? Physical magic and critical? No. We need some armor, man. I don't see any armor. Strike an enemy zealously to restore 5 HP. That's interesting. Oh, I'm... Animalistic Roar. Let loose an Animalistic Roar applies a burly buff to all friendly units. Increase knockback, resistance. Ah. Man, there's really kind of crappy items for sale this time. I think I'm going to pass. It's kind of meh. Alright, Steel Skin. We're going to learn that one up on... Grashy. And then Hammer Throw. We're going to learn that one up on Shilf. To the fight lobby. I think we have the movement advantage right now as well. Slow whoop, sorry, slow burn. Don't knock out enemy units for the on the first four turns. Deliver two consecutive knockouts. I think I can make that a reality. I think that's something that I can actually do. I need not you to be doing things, though. Oh, boy. Alright. Yes, yeah, so you need to cast that. Keep people moving slowly. Alright, so that's the first turn done. I don't know, man. First four turns? That's going to be a rough... It's going to be a rough ask. I realize I've never actually applied that to myself before. Huh. That's kind of silly. I just kind of always assumed that it was just working. I'm going to do some damage to you, but I'm going to try not to kill you off yet. Same thing with you. I never actually applied that before. <sighs> And 
Nicholas is fine. This is what, the third turn? Huh. We have to try to stand there and, and survive it. Most is okay. Some poison though. All right. <sighs> Alright, it's turn four, right? So we can start doing bad things. Oh, he hit us with a star. I don't even know what that means. Um... That did not kill her. Oh boy. Cast that spell. Insolent fo What did I. What? You have violated my demands, I'll suffer the consequences. What do you. I, I, I did what you said! Don't kill anyone until the fourth turn! Or was your demand somehow don't kill anyone until after the fourth turn? Oh man, I'm so I'm so bummed out by this. Oh, he's got one HP. Are you kidding me? She's feeling kind of bad. Um. Nicholas is fine. Did we at least deliver two consecutive knockouts, or did we somehow screw that one up too? I don't think the Emperor is super happy with us, honestly. I think he's quite upset. Well, you can be as upset as you want, friend. How is he still alive? Who knows? Goodbye. Well, despite the Emperor being very, very angry at us uh, for doing what he asked, it must have been don't do it until after the fourth turn, even though I could have sworn it said until the fourth turn. We never did manage to get chain knockouts, unfortunately. All right, plus one to vitality, two to agility, one to strength, one to vitality. Oh, we have to choose a new person. You're an elf with a bow, and yet you don't seem to actually have a ranged attack. Well, I mean, you are the one, Aerith. The Shady Goblin stops by your guildhouse offering his services. For some coin, I will help you win the next match. For some extra, I help may be felt really deep. Injure an enemy or kill an enemy. Nah, I'm okay. You do not need such services to score wins. No, see, you know, that's just the way it is. Oh, so Nicholas got hurt. So that was the that was the payoff there. Like if her attack was at range, I mean I'd be fine with that. But it's not. Oh, who knows? To the shop. Energize. Actually, you energize yourself to boost your speed. Applies energize buff. Does not consume a turn. Increase max AP by two. Yeah, that's, that's definitely worth getting. Six armor, one magic damage, critical 
Hit chance, debuff resistance. 11 magic damage, 24. Hmm. Okay, well then I guess we're going to move that back over here. We're going to pick this up. Put that down there. Ooh, that's really good. Seven, I'll take that. Put the girdle away. Actually, it looks like we can sell some stuff. There we go. Didn't sell for a lot, but, you know, it, it's something. 12 strength. Oh. Well, that's, that's pretty legit. Agility, dodge, chance, armor, knockback. What's this? Buff and bloodthirst. Boil your blood to improve physical performance. Lose 20% of your current HP. Oh, no. Why would I want to do that? That sounds awful. Plus 5 to wisdom. Throw that into the mix. I mean, I guess that's not terrible. Gonna hold off on it. We go to the guild house, we're gonna learn energize. I think I'm gonna throw it up on I wanna say a Nicholas. It's considering Shilf, but I think Nicholas is gonna be the guy that we do it on. Well, we're going to continue our battles in the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying. This is a fantastic game. Like I said, it, it seems somewhat simplistic, but like there's a lot of little strategy things here. Uh, movement's super important. Getting then your AP up to be able to outmaneuver your opponent. Uh, the whole Emperor demanding this and demanding that. Uh, maybe it's a little unclear. Maybe I read wrong. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I don't know, but um, I like it. Uh, it. It adds something to the, the entire match, so... We'll see. We'll see how this all plays out and see what we can make of it. All right, folks, the game, once again, is called Mortal Glory. Hope you enjoyed, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.